Hi there, I'm super excited about today's video because I have all of these. A couple of weeks ago, Mariah Elizabeth announced the launch of her Create This Book 3, and I was super excited. I had thought that I missed the trend, and I love Mariah Elizabeth, and I didn't know if I wanted to start, but now that the third book is here, I definitely want to give these a go. Now, since finishing these three books is a lot of work, I thought I'd do the first one as the Create This Book Challenge. Sarah Renee Clark came up with this challenge and because there's a hundred prompts in here, she decided to give herself a minute per prompt and finish the whole book in a hundred minutes. Now that's a little bit too ambitious for me, I think. So I'm going to do the challenge the way Mariah Elizabeth did it. And I'm going to allow myself three hours to, to try to finish this book. So I'm going to start the timer and I'm going to see if I can do it. So I got this timer for the challenge and I don't know why when I film it, it, you know, the lights appear to be blinking, but we can tell what time it is and we are ready to go. Here's the book. I've started the timer and let's go. Okay. So create this book by Mariah Elizabeth and me, so Paula. And then of course you have the pages where she gives you tips and tricks on how to use it, how to paint with it. But I've watched so many, many Mariah Elizabeth videos that I know this part already. And for the empty box, I just did a little happy face. First prompt, create a fancy name, write your name in a fancy way. I just did my letters and colors and give it a little edge. And you know, I'm trying to do this fast because of the time constraint. So that's as fancy as we're going to get today. Now this next page is an important one because it's a rule box for the whole book. So I just wrote hearts everywhere. I, I put hearts everywhere anyhow, so I thought that was going to be a good rule for me. So starting my third prompt where it says to fill the page with the same color, I just did a page full of pink hearts. Easy, right? <laughs> things I like and dislike, I just made a list of the things I really, really like. And then on the other side, of course, the ones I don't like. Kale and olives are right there. And I decided to draw a little olive that's like, how? How can you not like me? Because that's the reaction I get from everyone when I tell them I don't like olives. Here at the music inspired page so i was listening to some reggaeton which i love and i cannot play it of course because copyright but that's my, the page i had made inspired by that and afterwards i had to do a page of garbage and it took me a little while and then i thought okay what are things i'm putting in the garbage pretty often so empty paint tubes banana peels i eat bananas every single day almost and then old brushes um so yeah that's garbage for me now and then I went back and did the little hearts because I almost forgot about my book rule next one create a pet I was really excited about this one and you know I was thinking and thinking but then I remember my video about about um, one of my first videos that I created about pet hearts instead of pet rocks so I decided to draw one of those and make my life easier so I drew this little pet heart that looks like a cactus I was like okay so what name what name and my daughter said she looks like a petunia so that's her name petunia I gotta tell you now that I'm looking back and editing doing this book like this was so much fun I just came up with stuff and it actually made me feel super creative like here where I just made up a conversation with my dogs or on this page where it said to create a fold and I was trying to fold the corner like a little paper airplane. It didn't turn out great, like the fold's not the best, but I thought the idea was cute. And 100 pages of created prompts. It's a lot for me to show you how I came up or drew each one. So I'm just gonna slow down and talk a little bit more about the ones that were my favorites. It's like this one where a family I just made red and blue and mixed it to you know, become purple, or this growth chart that begins with a little broken heart, which gets help, starts healing, starts growing, and then ends up being this beautiful, strong heart, proud of its scars. I love that idea. I'm really proud of it. I think it could be illustrated much more beautifully than what I did. Another prompt that I really liked and I would like to have more time for was creating the fantasy home. I did it on a banana peel and I love that there was a little character in there. This one is another one that I loved creating an alien. I think he's so cute. 
Uh, I don't know, I love him with his little wings and hands and happy. He's either Bart or Bert, I don't know. Um, here's a weird one, almost two hours to go and I am drawing with my mouth so that's why my head is in the way. That's supposed to be a heart, it's so bad, but okay, it was fun. Then create embarrassment, I thought about those dreams that I have sometimes where my teeth fall off and then you're like, oh! <laughs> And then this one was a really fun page because it's a shared drawing and throughout this video my daughter was here for the three hours with me and I drew a heart and then she continued the drawing and like mother like daughter she just did a rainbow and then a little cloud. We were sharing this whole process and I love that we got this little special moment where we both drew inside the book. Here's another prompt that I loved, create nostalgia, and I was trying to do 80s toys. <laughs> this is what I was trying to draw, they're so bad. And, and then came this little guy that I did love too. He is a made up creature and I thought it would be nice to have plants growing from his head and he grows flowers when he's truly happy. Okay, so half of the time has passed and I'm on page 119 and I still have more than 100 pages to go. So here's where I decided to pick up the pace. Um, this was another prompt I loved and it was create a person. I actually decided to create a character because it says come up with the character, draw what they look like, describe their personality. So this is a little lacy guy and he likes to lounge around on clouds because they're so soft and he has a rainbow for a blanket and he loves to eat donuts. I think he's incredibly cute and I would like to draw him with a little bit more time and give him a name, he doesn't have a name. This one is another one I love, create a profession ice cream tester so it's one of the blobs on top of tons of ice creams and he has a sprinkles on him i just want to do that again this is another one i love because i came up with a character and it's a combo between two animals that i love bees and pandas so i, I call this little guy a bumble panda and i love him so at this point i'm on page 189 and i have 43 minutes to go so i'm pumped i know i'm gonna finish and this is where disaster hits because I did not notice at all that my phone died out and I, wa I wasn't filming anymore. Okay, so it's done. I finished it. But I didn't notice that for the last 40 minutes I ran out of battery and it wasn't filming anymore. So I don't know what to say. <laughs> I had so much fun. It was crazy fun to do it. I'm going to do like a time lapse flip through so you can see what I did and I'm done. Uh, it was so much fun. There's a lot of the things here I want to revisit. And I would like to know what do you think? What should I do for book two at least? Should I do it normal or should I do another speed challenge making sure everything is well charged and finish it? Um, I had 10 minutes left, so yay, but there's no footage of that, so I don't know. It was really, really fun. Let me know if you want to try me again, to try it. Let me know if you want me to try it again, and, and I was pretty exhausted by then. But here's the footage I took of the entire book. And yes, I was exhausted, like done from the three hours of being on, but this is so much fun. The prompts here really get your creative juices flowing. And I have so many ideas after this. I thought it was wonderful to do it like this. It's like a great creative exercise just to do the whole challenge. Not to mention that flipping through the whole book and having it done, it's really satisfying.
I did want to take time to show you this page that I did dedicate to Mariah while I was doing this because she's such an inspiration. She's the reason I have a channel. Creating her book made me so, so happy today. And this is the part where I ran out of battery, so this is all new to you and my superhero was the super cone because it turns anything into ice cream then textures where i'm using my hearts again and as you can see for most of these i kept it simple i i just went with it because this was the, the part where i decided i would pick up the pace and i do have hearts everywhere like even here i have little uh, heart shaped leaves and eyes looking there and this is a good page that i forgot i did and it says create a different drawing it was really hard for me to think of something i've never drawn in my life and then I thought a timer I've never drawn the timer so I drew the timer and it was at 34 minutes so that's what I did so it was page 207 already and I had still had half an hour to go so I did have plenty of time once I picked up the pace it was I finished the book with plenty of time to spare and this is my whole create this book one from Mariah Elizabeth. Please let me know if you want me to do the second one like this, like a challenge, or if I should do just do it normally. I really want to do the prompts on all of the books and I really want to take my favorite prompts and like expand the concept and in, like instead of doing it in three minutes, doing it in 30 minutes. I'm gonna make a whole other video creating the covers for the three books. These books are special to me, so I want to take my time with the covers, designing them, having them match so I can display them. So yeah, let me know if that's something you'll be interested in. That's it from me today. And if you're interested in seeing something else I created that was inspired by Mariah Elizabeth, please check this video here. I really loved how that cat turned out and yeah. Can't wait to hear what you think. Let me know what I should do with the other books. Have the very best week and I'll see you next time. Bye.